Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to solve a differential equation using Laplace transforms. We're going to go through the whole process. So this is an initial value problem because we have two initial conditions and here is our DE. So step one in this process is you take the Laplace transform of both sides of the DE. So we have a Laplace of the left hand side and then here we have the Laplace of zero. So the very first step is you always just take the Laplace transform of both sides. The next step is use the fact that the Laplace transform is linear. So basically, you could actually, you could actually skip this step and just take the Laplace transform of each little piece. So this is the Laplace of y double prime plus two times the Laplace of y prime plus the Laplace of y, and then the Laplace of zero is zero. Okay, so here's where the formulas come into play. There are some formulas and they're pretty challenging to remember. So the Laplace of y double prime, it's a formula, you just have to know it. It's s squared pitchfork y of s, that's what I call it, uh, maybe it's psi, minus s y of zero minus y prime of zero. You might say, how in the world do I have that memorized? It's hard. I have to think about it when I write it down. I had to think a lot there. You can't see me thinking, but I believe me, I was thinking. So I just know that whenever it's the second derivative, it always starts at two, and I know it ends at one less derivative. So if it's the second derivative, it ends at um, the first derivative, okay? If it's the third derivative, it would end at the second derivative. If it's the fourth derivative, it would end at the third derivative, etc. So then, I know that it has to end at y prime, so that must be y of zero. So notice it's two, one, and then there's an s to the zero here. So it's like the powers go down, s squared, s to the one, s to the zero. Uh, and then y prime, y of zero, there is no y. Plus two, the formula here is s pitchfork y of s minus y of zero. Notice it ends at one less derivative. This is the first derivative. This is the zeroth derivative. Again, this is probably one of the hardest things to memorize, but these, this, is this, and this is this. They're just formulas. And the Laplace of y, we say that's pitchfork y of s. And that's equal to zero. So step one, take the Laplace. Step two, use these cryptic formulas. Now we actually use our initial conditions. So we use them early in the problem, which is really, really nice. So y of zero is one, and y prime of zero is one. So they're, they're all ones. So this is s squared pitchfork y of s minus s minus one. So this is a one and this is a one. Right, we're using our initial conditions plus two. Be really careful here. It's really easy to mess up. I have not done this problem before making this video, so I'm, I'm being extra cautious. This is s, pitchfork y of s. I really don't want to mess up. These problems take a lot of work. Minus y of zero, so minus one. Boom. Plus our pitchfork y of s. Again, recap. Step one, take the Laplace of this bad boy, apply these formulas. These are really the only two you'll need most of the time. You'll need this one for y double prime, you'll need this one for y prime, and then this one uh, is just y of s. Now we have to solve for pitchfork y. So let's do that very carefully. So we have, oh, oh, oh over here it's equal to zero. So let's distribute the two. So we have s squared, pitchfork y of s, minus s minus one, plus two s, pitchfork y of s, minus two, plus pitchfork y of s. And this is equal to zero. So just distributed the two, going kind of fast. Let's see, oh, look at that, pitchfork y, pitchfork y, pitchfork y. We can pull out that pitchfork, that sounds bad. This is s squared, plus two s, plus one, pitchfork y of s. This is negative, I'll write it, negative s minus three, and that's equal to, I was gonna skip a step. I was gonna combine these and, and move it over to the right-hand side, but let, let's just refrain from that for a moment. Let's divide by all of this. Well, let's add this first. So we have, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and erase here so we have some more room. So this is gone. So we have this. So we have s squared plus two s 
plus 1, pitchfork y of s. And that's equal to, let's add this over to the other side, so s plus 3. This is s plus 1 squared, and so we can divide by it, so pitchfork y of s. This is a nice problem. That, that's, that, this is good. So we're here. So you always want to solve for pitchfork y of s. And so let me explain what we're doing. Well, why are we doing this? Because we know something. We know that the Laplace of y is pitchfork y. You can't see it anymore because I erased it, but that's what we said. When we took the Laplace of y, we called it this. So basically, we solve for the Laplace of y. So the Laplace of y is equal to this. So now to find y, we just have to find the inverse of this, and that's the answer to the DE. So it's ridiculous. So you basically take the Laplace transform of the DE, you solve for the Laplace of y, and then you find the inverse Laplace and you're done. That's the idea. So to find the inverse Laplace of this, we have to rewrite this. And this is a fun one. I, I like this. I didn't notice what happened. This is cool. Check this out. The technique is to write this as s plus 1 over s plus 1 squared plus 2 over s plus 1 squared. You can do that because 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. You say, well, why'd you do that? Well, because now they cancel. So we have pitchfork y of s, beautiful problem, 1 over s plus 1, plus 2 over s plus 1 squared. That's a ugly falling apart 2. So this is equal to the Laplace of y. So y is equal to the inverse Laplace of this. So y is equal to the inverse Laplace of 1 over s plus 1. Let's pull this 2 out, plus 2 inverse Laplace. What a great marker. 1 over s plus 1 squared. So using linearity of the inverse Laplace. So there are some formulas here that we can invoke. So first of all, this one is going to be e to the negative t. If you recall, the inverse Laplace of 1 over s minus a is equal to e to the at. So here it's s minus negative 1. So this is e to the negative t plus this bad boy requires some work. So this is 2 inverse Laplace. We should do a shift. We can take s to s plus 1 by writing the line and using the first translation theorem. And we need this to be one less factorial, but it already is because one factorial is one. So whenever you have something like this, you use that, that shifting theorem, the first translation theorem. Now we're good to go. So this is e to the negative t plus 2. This is t, right, from the formula, t. And this one, whenever you do the shift, it's going to give you e to the negative t because it's s minus a, but it's negative. And remember, this one's t. That's that formula. Um, if you have inverse Laplace of n factorial over s to the n plus 1, that's t to the n. So here it's, it's 1 factorial, so it's t to the 1. Okay, so that's how you get the t. And that would be the solution to the DE. That was actually a really nice problem. And I, I think it's an easier one. I think this one's a little bit easier than some of the other ones. I hope this video has been helpful to anyone in the world who's trying to learn how to solve differential equations with Laplace transforms. Remember, you take the Laplace of both sides, use those formulas, solve for pitchfork y, find the inverse, you're done. That's it.